Class is in session. The professor is in. What's happening, y'all? It is Ask the Professor time again. So I have been asked through social media to create a video of Charlotte Icon of WrestleMania. So in this video, I'm going to show you two builds with two different plates. I was asked specifically to expand on the previous video that I had done about the, uh, the La Familia plate, which is using the six-star move. But let's say you don't have that plate because it's actually quite rare and you have the honky tonk plate. So let's check out Charlotte Flair with the honky tonk plate. Now, I don't have it loaded on here at the moment. I took it off because I'm going to put La Familia on. Uh, again, I, I did it in the wrong order of video recording. Uh, but the two plates that you um, could use uh, at this point, uh, and this was it, this is the, the honky tonk plate. So whenever you break three or more green gems, you're going to get three blue move points uh, at the end of your turn. Um, the La Familia plate is the other way around. Every time you break three blue gems, you get three green gems at the end of your turn. When you're using the Honky Tonk plate, you're going to want to use a different set of metals. When you are using La Familia, you're going to want to use Fury or Fury 2 metals because you're going after gem damage. When you're using the honky tonk plate, like I'm going to show first here, you're going to want to use move uh, damage metals because you want to buff her blue move that does a ton of damage. So that's the difference between them. So using the honky tonk plate, you're going to um, you can use the, a different setup if you want to. This is how I like to play her because she does about three and a half to four million, depending on how high you can get the buffs of her blue move, especially if you have like a, uh, uh, a takedown twos, um, that add, you know, 80% more gem damage. Uh, and as well, if you have, um, some other good blue trainers, uh, as well. So you're going to want to go double blue with the green move set. So you're going to hit the, the sit, one arm sit down power bomb. So that's going to choose blue gems. Uh, the natural selection to refill the green gems. That one's random in three by two. Uh, that's my only issue with this move set, but it's the big boot. That's the one that you want to buff the most. Um, and I've gotten it up to over a million uh, per turn. Um, so it depends on uh, how which trainers you're using, right? So I like to start with the green moves first, but this all depends on your MP trainers, right? So if you have enough uh, MP trainers uh, and perks, it might, you know, it'd be also beneficial to start with blue so you can get the, um, you can get the blue move off first. I find the green works better for me, so that's why I start with steel, and then everything else is, is buffed on here, and so I did the video with these, uh, trainers because these are more, um, more accessible, less, um, rare trainers, but, uh, trick, Becky would be a good coach to add here instead of, because uh, my Otis isn't very high, but Trick Becky would be a good one. That's 35% more blue move damage, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to buff uh, that gem damage, or sorry, that uh, move damage as much as you can. So let's, let's head to the match. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hit the damage. And as you can see, I've buffed mine to about a million per hit. And then you're going to drop down uh, some blue gems since we went with the green. You can go green or blue as I said before. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to um, make a five match and make sure that we then have a green or a blue match on the board afterwards. So that way we can hit the big boot one more time. We're going to do a swipe and because we have the, um, the honky tonk uh, plate on, uh, we can hit this move one more time again. And just like that, we've done uh, over three and a half million. Uh, and you can do that uh, every turn because now we got the green moves all started up again. And because we hit the, with the honky tonk plate, it's going to go off again. So unfortunately, again, I didn't have a six star opponent to go against, but you can see how that can be used turn after turn after turn and how the honky tonk plate. 
So what if you do have the La Familia plate? Uh, then I would run her triple green and I would go, as I showed you with my title before, I would go with Furies or Fury 2s and just max the gem damage uh, as high as you can. That's what I would do with her. And I would do the triple green. It's 6 MP, so it is turn 1 in all feuds. Uh, and I would load up on uh, the gem damage. So again, we're going to use Steel, start with the green moves. Uh, and then this is where you get to be creative, depending on the trainers uh, that you have. So you can do it like this with all blue uh, blue gem damage, uh, either percentage or flat. Um, you can also do other creative things uh, with this too. You can go with multiply gem coaches. Um, so it makes eight off the bat and they're times three. So now they would be times four. You can put mem, they'll be times five. You can put mem rock, they'll be times six. You can add more blue gem uh, choose so you can blow up more of the board at times three um, so this is where you get to be creative or you can you can put some blue gem percentage damage on top of that uh, as well so um, it depends on what you need to do with your trainers and so this is where she has a lot of leeway to do stuff um, but she will hit for for three and a half or four million i find um, on average, and then depending on your ability to tweak it, uh, Charlotte's going to hit uh, for more. So I've I've seen it go above five million at some times as well too, and that's with uh, multiply uh, and other buffs that you can uh, put on there. So let's go check her out with the La Familia plate. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the random multiply gems on the board. So get those on and then we're gonna do the buff of the blue gem damage uh, and our goal here is to try to get that buff out at least two times um, every turn uh, as we can to try to get some maximum damage and then we're gonna try to do our choose move so we're gonna choose to make a five match and as long as we have another green match on the board or another blue match what we can do is put these on to multiply gems to help once we are ready to set them off. So we have the five match, and then what we're going to do, boom, we're going to hit the swipe, loads up all our moves again, and then we load the board, even more multiply gems. And now we can hit it with another boost of gem damage. Now we've got two of those buffs on there, so now we're looking at 225,000 per and that's just with the three times gem as I said before you can buff this differently depending on if you want more chews as I did here I decided to go for more chews but you can try to buff this with Matt Hardy or with one of the new multiply uh, gem trainers uh, mem rock as well to give more damage to that and just like that that hit for over three million because it knocked out five star gold uh, China so that's the two ways that I run uh, IOW Charlotte Flair at six star, two different plates, two different builds, two different sets of metals. If you found this helpful and you found that this was informative, please give it the thumbs up. Please give it uh, a subscribe so you can get more awesome content from my channel when I create it so you don't miss any of the videos and keep asking questions. Um, I will continue to make videos that the community wants to see. Um, and I will do my best to get that out there to you. Uh, I don't always have the character, so it takes me some time to try to find somebody that does, but I will get uh, the characters that you ask for, and I will get some six-star play of them as well. So thanks again for watching. Professor out.